City's under-18s finished the month of November with four wins out of four after they comprehensively beat table toppers Everton on Saturday morning. Jason Wilcox made three changes to the team that beat Blackburn a week before with Matthias Bossarts, Tosin Adarabayo and Kian Bryan all returning to the starting 11. The Blues began the brighter with the lion's share of both possession and territory and their dominance nearly paid off on seven minutes but Everton's central defender Langton took the ball off Thierry Ambrose's toe. Two minutes later and City had their first strike on goal. Ambrose linked well with George and Tima, and the winger's pullback was met by Ashley Smith-Brown, whose shot whistled over the bar. City were camped inside the Everton half, and their reward would be two quick-fire goals that from a neutral's point of view was nothing less than what they deserved. First, Smith-Brown lashed home after some pinball in the Everton box. Before Ambrose continued his rich vein of scoring by volleying home Angelino's beautifully weighted cross at the back post. That goal being the Frenchman's seventh of the campaign. The Toffees management of Kevin Sheedy and Duncan Ferguson needed their men to get back into the game and a lifeline was handed to them on the half hour. Billy O'Brien spilling a corner at the feet of Courtney Duffus who tapped home. Everton's good work was nearly all undone within a minute of the restart. Ambrose playing in Brandon Barker over the top, but the winger's shot was too close to Russell Griffiths. The second half was barely three minutes old when City regained their two-goal cushion, and it arrived amid some confusion. Intima's volley looked as if it had crossed the line, but the referee played on, and it was only after consultation with his linesman that the goal was given and replay suggest the assistant referee was correct in his decision. Again, the visitors stepped up a gear to find a way back and they had two good chances to cut the deficit. Firstly, Lampton was denied by an instinctive save from O'Brien and then from another set piece, Callum Dyson was on hand at the back stick, but he couldn't direct his header. City's visits to the Everton half were limited due to the pressure the visitors applied and after Dyson battled well to win the ball on the right, he set up Tyrone Duffus, but Adarabayo managed to deflect it over. The three points were secured though with just eight minutes remaining. Ambrose did well on the byline to drag back for substitute Denzel Boado, who was coolness personified to neatly finish into the top corner. So that six win in a row means there's now only one point separating the Blues from Everton, and with Manchester United on City's heels, three more points away at Middlesbrough next weekend would only reinforce their playoff hopes. Final score from Platt Lane, City 4, Everton 1.